What is that? Oh, no, no, I didn't. I didn't want to take the knife out of all the things that I would have taken. Uh, wait, what? Uh, yeah, I feel bad for taking these things, but I mean. But I I'm saving these. Oh, and I'm over encumbered. Okay, let's see what I can do. Um, I can fix that. Um, weapons, single shotgun, I can fix that. And I'm good to walk as I want. If there's any water. Oh, I forgot about water. Okay, well, this is an advanced model robot with reinforced frame. It is well weathered and appears to have a good bit of action. It is very little in way series damage. Um, try to fix the repair. Some servers and gyroscopes need to be recalibrated and replaced. It looks like as though the robot can repair it's 65 or higher. Examine it. Examine the electronics. A few of the preliminary electronical systems seem to be fully functional and the redundant systems are all working. If you bypass some of the primary systems, secondary systems, okay, leave it alone. I don't think I have what it takes to fix that. I don't think, let me check. Um, stats. Um, science 25, yeah, and I need, was repair 22, yeah, not even close to being able to fix that yet. Vicky and Vance, that's the casino. I don't know if there's a way in. Oh, here's the door. Trash can. Ooh. Let's see if there's people in here. I hope it's not powder can, because I hope it's actual people. <sighs> I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Well, that's Jonathan Nash. Who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. I'm a career for the Mojave Express. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. <laughs> I lost package. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Can you tell me about this job? Oh, so you're talking about one of them packages. That job had Strange written all over, but we couldn't turn down the caps. What was Strange about it? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. He canceled? Yeah, got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No. Let Courier 6 carry the package. That's what he said. Like the Mojave sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. Do, do you know who he was, where he went? No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. And turn down the money, too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Well, not for me to say. Some men stole my package. A man in a checkered suit and some thugs. Did they pass this way? Well, now that you mention it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. 
They was talking about a chip. One of those men shot me. I need to know the best way to get them. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. I'd like to ask you something else. I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. Where can get information about the man that shot me? A beagle had some notes he was taking while he was eavesdropping around the Potter gangsters. He'll be your best source of information on that subject. I want to ask you some more about the delivery I was supposed to make. Sure, I'll tell you what I, I know. Nothing. I could buy. Don't go getting yourself shot. No, 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 no. Hey, youngster, still hanging about Prim, huh? What can I do to help Prim? Right now, Beagle is the closest Prim's got to any organized law. But he's still stuck up in Bison Steve. First thing I'd say is get his sorry butt out of there. Um, I have some questions about your robot. That beat up old thing? What do you want to know? Where did it come from? A courier dropped it off a couple of months back. I got it working for a little while, but the darn thing pooped out. I haven't been able to get it up and running again. I was hoping to use it for some courier work, but that ain't gonna happen. What's wrong with it? Hell if I know. I don't think it's serious, but my tinkering days are long gone. Uh, do you mind if I try to fix it? Are you welcome to try? It's yours if you can get it working. Sweet. If I had my way, I'd dump it in the scrapyard in Novak and be done with the damn thing. Um, goodbye. Don't go getting yourself shot. Why do you have your gun out? Oh. <laughs> okay, let's see what quest I just got. Um, EDE, my love. Okay. If I can do that, Crimson Video has been captured by Hagangers. Okay. You come to the wrong place, traveler. Prim's dying. Yeah, and you're glitching. If you've got any sense, you'll be moving on. Don't point that gun at me, man. Before the powder gangers came to town, Johnson and Nash ran the local store in the Mojave Express station. I'd rather be left alone to my misery. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Who are you? Trim Slim at your service. Authentic cowpoke and official spokespot of the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Yeehaw! Who are Vicky and Vance? Where have you been, partner? Hiding under a rock? Vicky and Vance were this nation's fourth or maybe fifth most infamous celebrity outlaw couple ever. That's who they was. Prim Slim here can tell you the whole story, if you can spare a minute to hear the tale. Oh, tell me the whole story about Vicky and Vance. Yahoo! I ain't had a chance to tell their tale in a mess of years. First things first, any boss you've heard about Vicky and Vance being copycats ain't nothing but ill-tempered slander. Fact is, they begun their crime spree two days before Bonnie and Clyde robbed their first bank. So who was copying who? Now true, Vicky and Vance didn't exactly cut a wide swath of murder and bank robbery across the central U.S. like Bonnie and Clyde did. It was more like a narrow swath of shoplifting, check cashing fraud, and gas pump drive-offs. But crime is crime. They drove reckless too. Having lived by the gun, well, Vance owned one anyway, it was only fitting that the duo of desperados would die by the gun. Perhaps it was fate itself that accidentally drove them into a crossfire between police and a gang of bank robbers in Plano, Texas. Or maybe they just didn't notice until it was too late. It's been said that Vicky would have tried to cash a bad check in that bank had she lived. We'll never know for sure. All we know is that the crossfire tore the car and both occupants to pieces, and the police issued an official apology. You can put your eyes on the genuine death car just over yonder. And there's Vance's machine gun in the case next to it. Uh, tell me about Prim. Prim is a thriving resort community located in Clark County, Nevada, right along Interstate 15. Whether you can't wait till Vegas to try your luck, or want to hit one last jackpot before you leave Nevada, Prim's your place. The town's premier attraction is the world-famous Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. So you came to the right place, partner. Um, so what about Bison Steve's hotel across the street? <clears throat> the Bison Steve is one of Prim's less impressive casino hotels. I'd steer clear of that place, partner, if I were you. Rumor is the dealers over there cheat. 
and that rickety roller coaster is liable to fall down any day because it wasn't built to cold. What is this place? Why, this is the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum, Prim's premier tourist attraction and resort destination. Yeehaw! Goodbye. Happy trails, partner. You don't mind. Okay, so this is the car. Da 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 da. Outfits, which they don't have. Oh, and this is where the machine gun would be, I assume. Yeah. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Did you know that Vance's gun is missing? Just mosey you on over to the display case and you'll see it plain as day. Quite a piece, that gun. Mint condition. Never fired. Hmm. I'll have to improve my science, but the display case is empty. The gun's missing. Have you gone, loco, partner? I can see the gun with my own three photo sensors from where I'm standing right now. Goodbye. Happy trails, partner. I'll bring that up later. Come to the wrong place, traveler. Quite a town Prim's we got dying. here. Hello there. What brings you to Prim? Uh, who are you? I'm Ruby Nash. Pleased to make your acquaintance. My husband and I are Prim long timers. He fancies himself a trader, and I know my way around a kitchen. Tell me about Prim. My mother taught me never to say something unless it was nice. So, I don't have <laughs> nothing to say about Prim, for the time being at least. Okay. It's a sad state of affairs. Discuss it with Mr. Nash if you care to. Just makes me want to cry. Why do you, or what do you My cook? specialty is a rad scorpion venom casserole. Sounds bad. It's more appetizing than it sounds. <laughs> sounds really bad. The venom has a sharp, smoky flavor. And it numbs your mouth so fierce you'll forget you ever had a tongue. Peace it's perfectly not... safe, long as you don't have sores in your mouth for the venom to find your blood. Cause that'll kill you dead. I like some red scorpion venom across from Does sound good, don't it? How many red scorpion glands you got? I don't have any. Guess you'll be needing to find some, huh? Come yeah, back so. when you do. Bye. Yeah, bye. Um, Sheriff gets murdered. Deputy Beagle dragged off for ransom to the Bison Steve. That should bring back the tourists. You're kind of um, a Debbie Downer, aren't you? Let's see if anyone back here. So many safes. I assume I shouldn't be back here, though. I'll probably get in trouble. And I don't want all these people trying to kill me. Oh, I wonder how weird it is for them. I'm wearing the dead sheriff's clothes. <laughs> it's probably not the best idea. Um, Howdy. Alright, so I think I talked to most everyone here. So I guess the only thing I really have to do is to go to Bison Steve and see if I can save that guy. But for now, I shall bid you guys adieu. Until next time, this has been Oki Ninja. I'll see you later.